Hello my lovely twins, this is Caroline with your weekly Twin Flame Soulmate Reading. Welcome back. So, um, I got a personal message for myself and my guides wanted me to share it with you because it's really important for the collective, okay? So, before we'll get into the cards right after. Um, <clears throat> so, Basically, there is a major purge going on at this time, okay, in the Twin Flame Collective. And I was asking in regards to a situation what action I should be taking, okay? Of course, I asked my guides. Um, so, some people feel like they're stuck, like there's nothing moving forward. Um, and it has a lot to do, and I mean in their unions, right? Um, their connections in the physical, right? So this has a lot to do with um, <clears throat> the energies being stuck, okay? And it's because a lot of people are living in the past, okay? So let's say you're you're thinking, okay, you know what? Uh, I want to reach out to... Um, this is a scenario that I'm picking up on right now. I want to reach out to my twin, but, um, you know, he or she, it, you know, they might say this or they might do that. And it's like all this fear attached to it because of how they have responded or reacted to um, maybe communication in the past with you or anything like that. So what, um, so what? my guides were saying is that because there is a major purging going on at this time and the past needs to be released all the fears of the past all the pain all the wounds all the emotions that are you know stuck whatever they said to me okay because you know that how um spiritually there is no s such thing as time okay so time is just an illusion right so they said okay what if there was no past, right? And I said, what? And they said, yeah. What if there's no past? Just forget about there being a past, okay? Leave the past where it is. Don't worry about the future. Live in the moment. Live in the present moment. Act like there is no future and no past, okay? So I know that's really hard for some of us to comprehend because you're thinking, oh my God, what about all the stuff from the past? How can, you know, how can we just pretend that there's no past? So it's not really pretending there's no past. And an example is coming up is like when you transition, right? <clears throat> okay, so when you reincarnate, reincarnated in this lifetime, you forgot every, your twin, right? You forgot everything about your twin. I mean, unless you do past life regression, you don't remember all those lifetimes, what you went through with them, who they were to you, what were the problems. And that's why we come to this lifetime and it's like we got to learn the lesson. We got to move through all that karma. And um, so we can be in the union that we want to be in, right? So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm having allergies, you guys. So, um, so what they said is basically forget about the past, don't worry about the future, live in the present moment. There is a portal opening up, um, on September 9th, 9-9, that they were telling me about, and this is opening up a gateway for the Twin Flame Collective to move forward without looking back to the past, okay? So what would you do? Let me know in the comments, what would you do if you thought to yourself, there is no past, okay? And I'm just gonna live for now. What action would you take with your twin, okay? Spirit really wants you to think about that um, and transcend time okay that's what they want you to do at this time and i know that that's really hard to comprehend but think of it that way that if time does not exist there is no present i mean there is no past there is no future there is just the present what you're doing now okay 
So take that in consideration. We have a full moon coming up also on September 14th. So after this gateway has opened, think about what you're going to do. I mean, beforehand, I want you to reflect on how that would be, what action you would take towards your twin if they were, you know, like not thinking of like, oh, they're going to do this if I say this, or oh, no, they're going to react this way. Do, pretend there's no past. So therefore, it's like, a, you know, starting fresh, okay? Um, and some of you are like, oh, no, like we need to talk. You know, I, I'm hearing you. We need to talk. We need to have that. Yeah, that's fine. You can have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. But the heart-to-heart -heart conversation needs to be releasing the past, okay? You can't live together in that past. So once that you have that conversation through compassion and through the heart, okay? That's why it's called a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. It's not called ego-to-ego -ego or monkey mind-to-monkey -monkey mind, okay? So uh, going back to, I feel like some of you are going to be confused about the death transition I was talking about. We're all going through major transformations right now. So is the masculine collective and the feminine collective. So it was about the death and rebirth process, okay, in order to be, um, to go through the rebirth, okay, you have to let go of the past, okay. And as much as, as hard as it is, you have to do that. Um, so I want you all to keep that in mind, okay? There's major changes, shifts taking place right now in the Twin Fame Collective. If you want to be one of those people, you want to be one of those flames, you got to do the work, okay? This is a very auspicious time right now um, because there's a lot of things going on planetarily. There's a lot of um divine intervention going on okay and so it's like you can't just sit back and do nothing about it and that's i know some of you feel really stuck in the past it's hard it's hard it's like i'm only human um but you have to move past those barriers because that's what it is they're barriers they're blockages the past is always holding you back okay so Going into the messages, I mean, we got the perfect pair here. This is the tiger and the cheetah, okay? I love animals, <laughs> like, I swear. So this is about, um, and guys, don't pay attention to my nails because I haven't had time to go. I had to put this message out. My guys are like, you gotta, you gotta get on there right now. I was just planning to, like, I have a personal reading to do, but I was planning on just taking the day off but anyhow doesn't make a difference because um i love doing what i do okay so this tiger is the the feminine okay aspect this is the the divine feminine and look at that moon that crescent moon above you know in the tiger's third eye okay and this is the cheetah Okay, this is the masculine. This is the solar force. So this is the moon. This is the sun. Okay, and look at this. Look at the way. Look at the way. I mean, the expression on their faces. Okay, so this is about you balancing out the masculine and the feminine inside of you. Okay, everybody has masculine and feminine energies. And this came up in the past two readings. Okay. And it's re they're really focusing on this. And it's because a lot of you are not taking, um, you are stuck in the runner and chaser mentality. So look at the cheetah. What does it look like? The runner, right? And the, um, the tiger, what does it look like? I'm sorry, the other way around. <laughs> the other way around, okay? Runner and chaser. So you 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 guys are stuck in the paradigm of um some of you, not all of you, but in the runner chaser, okay? We have to throw that paradigm out cuz that no longer is 
okay? That's what my guys are saying. It no longer is, okay? We're beyond that. We have evolved um, where we can't put that label anymore because <clears throat> before there was so much polarity between the masculine and the feminine, even though we both have masculine and feminine, okay? So some of you, your masculine is dormant or your feminine is dormant, okay? So what Spirit is saying is you have to balance. You guys can see I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> you have to balance it out, okay? So there's times, I mean, for me, um, lately I've been going into my masculine more than my feminine, okay? And you guys might, might notice it more because you listen to me. <clears throat> I don't really watch my videos, but um, you might know the difference in my voice when I'm more in the masculine and the, or the feminine, okay? My tone, my voice. So this is all a part of you, okay? You both have feminine and masculine, but you need to know, you need to use your discernment in every situation to know which one you're going to use with that situation, okay? So it's like before you make a move, these guys, both of them, before they make a move, <clears throat> they first think about the move, right? They first are like, even if they're hunting or Whatever it is, they think about the move before they make it, okay? So which part of them? Are they going to, you know, just watch the prey? I'm, I'm using this in that. I'm not thinking about, like, you know, the your twin as the prey. I'm not, okay? But this is, you know, this is nature. This is, you know, um, yeah. So think about it. How is, um, how they before they take action, okay? Are they going to, it, the tiger usually at night, um, that's when he or she, you know, this is the, the feminine, um, works, okay? And the cheetah works during the day, okay? So there's a difference between this, the sun and moon. So you have to know which one you're going to um, use in each situation, okay? Which one, what does your situation call for, okay? So I hope that makes sense to you guys because it's, it's, the way I'm explained it is it's hard to comprehend and it's hard to translate it. So I hope you you guys understand that. So um, we were, I was getting, this is related to what I was getting, like some of the comments like, oh, you know, um, I'm not, you know, going to take action anymore and whatever. I don't know your personal situation. Like, let's say I'm not going to reach out to the masculine anymore or whatever it is. Um, I don't know your personal situation, okay? But let me tell you something. If you have been waiting and for the masculine to, you know, um, get into his masculine energy, right, fully, and, you know, come after you, and you've been doing it for a long time, and it's not happening, um, that means you have to do something different, okay? So, there's a lot of people, my guys are saying there's a lot of people that are stuck right now because, um, of the, um, because there's no energy shifting, and it's because they're stuck in the paradigm of the runner and chaser. So it goes back to the, all the videos out there that on YouTube that um, you're watching, like, oh, don't you know chase, um, don't chase the men or whatever, you know, let them come to you, kind of stuff. And those are usually the people that are stuck waiting for the men to chase for like, and it doesn't have to be. Um, doesn't have to be men or whatever, but I know that's how they put the videos out. So think about it. How long have you been stuck waiting for the masculine to make a move and they're not? Okay, I want you to ask yourself that if that's you. Okay, and what's chasing to you? What do you consider chasing? Okay, you're waiting for the cheetah. If you're a feminine, you're waiting for the cheetah to, you know, chase you what's chasing i want to know what what defines chasing because 
I mean, if you're like obsessed with someone and you're calling them or like you're they're completely ignoring you and you're like chasing them, you're like stalking them, you're like showing up at their house all the time, like that kind of behavior. If that's chasing, okay, what is chasing? I would really love to know. Um, so anyhow, okay, so the masculine right now, let's see, the masculine. Okay, so what I'm getting from this card is that, okay, so this is the Five of Swords. This is about um, using the ego. This is about um, I feel like the masculine at this time is just um, there's a lot of arguments going on, okay? And it has to do with the people around them. So since they're in the process of transformation, it's like they're realizing that the people around them are not, they're blocked, okay, is what Spirit is saying. The people around them are blocking, okay? But they are reflecting to their life and thinking, okay, the people around me are blocking me they're not letting me move forward I feel this heavy burden on me okay and it's it's um, hindering my growth my success my achievements okay <clears throat> but at the same time it's like they're thinking I let this happen so there's a sense of you know um, blaming themselves for letting these people whoever they are person people take it how it resonates um blocking them so it's like you know you know what i'm getting so um what is it called um okay they're realizing that it's so lonely without you um, and they might have blamed you for, okay, this is what I want to say. I forgot what technique this is called. I mean, not technique or, you know, I mean process psychologically, but it's like they're not owning up to letting those people do whatever they want or that person to block them okay so first it's like they were block they were you know blaming those people or they were blaming you twins um and now it's like they're thinking it's me i'm the one to blame you know it's my fault i let so and so control me i let so and so take from me use me um whatever it is okay so now they're looking on to you with a different perception as to wow like my twin was there for me throughout all this time um caring and now i don't have them in my life okay now i really feel left out in the cold okay because <clears throat> they don't feel left out in the cold when it has to do with the other people in their life, whatever karmic cycle that they're learning, but they feel this loneliness and being left out in the cold, abandoned by you, okay? And now they're thinking, I did this to myself, okay? I didn't listen. I didn't see what they saw, okay? Because you're coming up, feminines, or whoever's watching, as, you know, the high priestess, okay? So it's like, you know, you could have pulled your energy back, or they could have left you out in the cold. It doesn't matter. But it's like, you know everything that's going on, and you're patiently waiting for them to see everything, okay? Okay. And they're finally seeing it. They're seeing things for what they are. Okay. 
and they're reflecting to their life and thinking what's missing what's missing and time is passing by um, Um, I'm getting, okay, I'm going to get give you an example of a short story that I know of. It's called The Swimmer. It's a short story in American literature, and it's by John Cheever. It's about this guy who's like, decides, you know, his life has passed him by, and all he does is drink, okay? He drinks alcohol. But take this how it resonates. Um, your, your masculine doesn't have to drink alcohol for this. It could be another addiction. It could be any type of attachment that they have. So it's about this man who decides, okay, he's just getting drunk and he goes, he he lives in the suburbs and he says, I'm going to swim through every single pool to get back home. But the theme, it's symbolic, I should say. Um, it's about him going through his life um, and not realizing how much time he wasted on people um, alcohol and his life passed him by and he lost everything so he goes from one pool to the other and he realizes all these things about these people all the people he left behind all the people he hurt um, that are not even offering him like a drink or they're they're saying you know oh you know did you come to borrow money again because he probably b needed to borrow money because he was too busy you know wasting all his money on drinking and um, women um and he was married with four kids so finally when he goes to, he gets to his house this is talking about time transcending right like he doesn't realize that he probably went he was going through like 10 years you know and this has to do with time and which is perfect with this reading because there is no such thing it's an illusion but to people who are living by time it's like you're stuck right you feel stuck because you're thinking how long am I going to wait for the masculine, you know, to wake up, to, you know, take action, whatever it is, right? Um, and this this guy finally gets, gets back home to what he thinks is home. And the house, he comes and he starts knocking on the door. He's all drunk, right? He swam in all the pools of the neighborhood. And finally he gets home. And the, the house is dark. The house is dark. There's no one there. His wife is not there. His four kids are not there. Okay? They're gone. He lost it all. And at this time, the masculine is thinking of all the time that he wasted not being with you. And all the, the love that you both could have shared when they were out doing things or entertaining other people, you know? Or, <clears throat> you know, spending their time drinking or gambling or... Whatever it is that was, was was serving their ego, you know, so this there's a reflection going on as the masculine is realizing that all this time was so wasted. Okay, so let's see what else is coming up. So, um, okay, what's this here? And the masculine is thinking about, yeah, they're really missing you, by the way, very much so. The masculine is looking, to, doesn't matter what gender this is, um, realizing how much sincerity is with your, with your love and your emotions and your intentions with them, okay? <clears throat> And they're realizing all the times that they shut you out because of it. And it's like they can't turn back time. So they're thinking about all the times they shut you out whenever you express any type of emotions. And it's because they were emotionally shut down. Okay. Um, they're really missing you. And they, it's like they want to come in with some sort of communication. It's like, should I wait? Should I communicate? And it's like the same thing with you, right? You're thinking, should I reach out to my masculine? Should I say something? Should I take action? And the masculine is going through the same thing. 
But at the same time, it's like they're scared to reach out because they think, okay, how can I make this right? How, what am I supposed to say, right? Because they don't want to come in like the Knight of um, Swords because the Knight of Swords is not, is not really, you know, rational. Um, he's more impulsive, whatever. So it's like, should I wait? Should I um, communicate, you know? There's a, ref yeah, there's a, re like, they're really reflecting, okay, and it's like they have so many regrets that I'm picking up on. Um, they're going through each, they're going through the past, like, a movie, movie scenes, you know, like a montage of, um, yeah, look at that. How they took your love for granted, okay? That's, when I was picking up drinking, I did pick up drinking for um, for a group, a small group. Um, I mean, you'll know who, who you are, right? So this is about contemplating and realizing that the past was so much time wasted between you two, okay? The, the, the theme of time is really coming up that it has to do now, like I said, with the past, having to leave the past behind at the same time. That takes a lot of courage um, and vulnerability, but the masculine at this time is really purging and really um, realizing things about themselves. And it's scary for some of them because they have to um, accept the fact that they did take your love for granted. It's pure and simple here, okay? And some of them could be drinking because they, it's so hard on them to um, accept that they're the ones who screwed up. Because in the past, the masculine has been blaming the feminine, has been blaming the karmic, the whoever's around them. Whoever the karmic is, it could be family, it could be an ex, it could be... Whoever, a partner, um, doesn't matter. They're all, they were always blaming someone else. And now they're looking in the mirror, like we said last time. And it's like, it's me. It was me all along, okay? So there's a lot of regret. Um, and some of them might have reached out to you. I see a small group, but it's like, Nothing has changed. And some of you are like, they have not changed. So how to move forward from this, okay? So this comes with the theme, feminines, where you have to sometimes get in your masculine energy, okay? To get the, the solar energy. For some of you, um, whoever I'm picking up on, if you have any type of stomach upset or um, pain, you get nervous. Um, when you get nervous, you get pain. That means your solar chakra needs healing, okay? So take that into consideration. It might be that you're, you need work on your solar chakra, okay? That's what I'm picking up on for some of you. Um, let's see what this is. Yeah, there is some type. What is this? Yeah. This is like a very, should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do this? Should I do that? This is entrapment, okay? This is you and your worry, and your worries, and your stress. <clears throat> um, there's a really back and forth energy. So this is what how it came out, okay? So this is about going back and forth about whether to communicate or just to be, you know, worry about it, feeling stuck. And some of you do feel stuck at this time, okay? So it's like, <clears throat> should I just, you know, sit here? Um, stuck is really that, and, you know, feeling entrapped. Or should I communicate? Because the Queen of Swords does not take... BS, okay? She or he, doesn't matter. 
they don't take bullshit, okay? So it's like they're straightforward. They do not, you know, beat around the bush like they say. And she just is, you know, we got to talk about this and let's do it. Like she's going to say whatever is on her mind. No holding back. But this one, the Eight of Swords energy is more like, I don't know what to say. What if I say this and they they react like this? You know, that's the stressful one. Entrapment of the mind, okay? So that's what um, I feel like both feminine and masculine is going through this right now because they both realize that, yeah, all right, guys, so this is when you have to take your manifestation skills, okay? If this is what you want, this is the time, is what spirit is saying, to take action, okay? And there's different ways of taking action, just like how there is, you know, the cups, the swords, the pentacles, um, what did I miss? The wands, okay? So... Spirit is saying, if you want something solid, if you want something, um, yeah, like you want something solid, okay, with your twin, you have to take action. You have to manifest this, okay, and use everything you got, not just wait around, okay. Um, with this, I'm getting more of a compassionate energy like do it with compassion okay do it with caring uh, don't be so much like the queen of swords okay it's hard to, okay the queen of swords something good about the queen of swords is that she's straight out right she's straightforward she's straight out she's honest she tells it like it is right but when it comes to the you know um, she might be cutting, okay? So Spirit is saying, take more of the compassionate route with this, okay? For some of you, there might be communication coming in from the masculine side, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be the communication you want, okay? But what is here is that so when I say it's not going to be the communication I want, it's, it, okay. You need to take the lead. In certain situations, this is not for all of you. You know who you are. You need to take the lead. If, you, if the masculine reaches out to you and it's like the same old conversation and you're like, oh, no, they're in the same conversation that they used to be. There's nothing moving forward. They're the same. They haven't changed. If you get this vibe from them, then it's your... It's you who has to take the action. It's you who has to start this fresh new beginning. You have to um, really put all your energy into changing the dynamic of this connection. Okay? Because there is this new beginning that is waiting. But some of you are so stuck in the past. And I... And I'm not saying this with any judgment or anything, okay? Spirit is saying some of you are so stuck in the past that there's no more passion there. And you have to reignite the passion. You have to remember why you love each other in the first place, why you um, connected in the first place, okay? So really tap into your intuition and figure out what it is. Um... God, I'm getting a really depressing energy from some masculines. Like they're really depressed. Because they're so regretful. Let me see what else Spirit wants us to know. My twins. What else? What other advice can you give to twin flames? Okay, yeah, they're up at night. They're really stressing out. Ooh, I love this. Oh, I love this. I love this. Okay. So, this 
in reverse, the emperor, which, you know, represents the masculine, divine masculine. This was in reverse. So what it's telling me is that the selfishness, the ego, whatever is being released at this time because we got the ending card, okay? So some of you still think that the masculine might be operating at the... Um, at the ego level but some of them have been really enlightened as they are in hermit mode is what i'm getting they're in isolation um they're realizing a lot of things and they realized how selfish they were in the past and how egotistical they were so that is coming to an end okay they're really transforming is what i want to say um and i'm getting um releasing attachments okay And I just got 12-step program. I think that it's with Alcoholics Anonymous, is it? I don't know. Somebody's going through a 12-step program, okay? So, ooh, let me see this. So, ooh, okay. All right, all right, why? Why is this here? So, mm-hmm. They're talking about the past, letting the past go. There's still some resistance on the masculine's part, and it's because they don't... <sighs> this love has to be expressed, okay? This love has to be expressed. So, some of you or... Um, I'm, say, I'm talking to people who are watching this video. Obviously, I'm not talking, you know, to people who are not, but there's some kind of resistance on the masculine's part, and it's because um, this love was not expressed, okay? So for some of you, I know some of you have expressed your love, what they mean to you and whatnot, but some of you have not fully expressed that, and that's why there's resistance um, when it comes to moving forward, okay? So that's for whoever that is. It doesn't resonate with everyone. And it's about the masculine thinking, you know, should I um, make the effort? Should I invest in this union when I don't even know how the feminine feels for me? It's about trusting, okay? So take that how it resonates. This is not for everyone. This is for a group, okay? Um, yeah, feelings expressed. Feelings need to be expressed. Okay, you guys, that was the death card. Transformation. Transformation is here. Okay. I'll pull one more card. Any other advice, Spirit? Yeah. Like I said, they have to get out of this. For some of them, they're really depressed. And I feel like if you reach out to them, that they would feel so much better. Um, they feel such a void without you in their lives. Um, and... What I'm getting is, oh my god, so sad. I'm getting the song I Have Nothing by Whitney Houston. I have nothing. I'm not going to sing it because, like, no way. Um, I have nothing if I don't have you. Okay, listen to that song, the words. Um, the masculine feels like that. They feel like they have nothing without you in their lives. Okay, guys, let me get into the messages, and that is really sad. I'm moving away from that because I don't want to get emotional right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. What message do you have for the Twin Flames, all those who are watching?
This is about infinity. Dearest one, rest within the light of your soul. Feel my spirit alive within you, the spirit of the goddess of nature, the earth and stars. Accept the love and light we shower upon you. So, <clears throat> you're going to feel, once you meditate on this video, you know, about what is being said, you're going to feel something, okay? So, you're going to feel love and you're going to get a message of what you're supposed to do, okay? What's in your highest and best. And when you meditate, always ask your guides, your angels, whoever you believe in, God, source, whatever you believe in, okay? Whoever you believe in. Ask what to do for your highest and best, okay? Always. And you will get the answer, okay? So... And I'm going to pull one more message. Okay, I'm being guided to another message. Tranquility. Trust all will turn out well. Everything will fall into place. Peace of mind and tranquility are soon restored. Okay, what else for twin flames would you like them to know? You needn't worry. <clears throat> There's no one in your life who hasn't always loved you. They're all just learning how to show it. Big sillies. <laughs> so this is about, um, some of you are um, rather in fear mode to, it, it, I'm saying fear. So if reaching out to the masculine, some of you have been contemplating about it. And you're thinking, you know, what if I pour my heart out and they're just completely on another level and they're going to tell me they don't love me or <clears throat> they're going to be their same selves, like they're going to be cold or they're going to be, they're going to shut down or whatever it is. That fear is really, um, that fear is really getting in the way of <clears throat> you moving forward together, okay? So don't worry about it. I know it's easier said than done, but it's like, just tell yourself, you know, they they love you. There's no question about it. You love them and they love you. It's like, even if you don't feel the love, it's because they don't know how to show it. But they might, what Spirit is telling me is like, through you, they might learn how to show it. So it's like, maybe you haven't showed your love to the full extent because you've been hurt by them so much. But at the same time, it's like, you you will show them by example of how you express your love, how you show your love. Um, still, after all this, after all the pain, after all the trauma for some of you that they've put you through, you're 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 gonna still show that love that is that love will come back to you no matter what they will learn by example okay so that's why spirit is saying you needn't worry okay if that's what you're worried about if this message resonates with you then take it receive it okay and receive the love that is being showered upon you at this time I hope this has helped you. Let me know in the comments and give me a like if it has. I wish you all the best, twins, and I will see you soon. And make sure you guys do manifestation work and um, releasing. There's purging, you know, of the past, whatever, because there is this gate, this portal opening up, 9-9. Nine, nine. Um, so receive. Receive all the love that's coming towards you, okay? Take care. Bye.